Welcome back everybody, Todd here. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Today is the Sunday following Thanksgiving. It's November 27th. It's a cold and rainy day here in Michigan, but fortunately yesterday was sunny and it made it into the low 50s and I was able to take my motorcycle for kind of a final run, uh, final ride for the season. And it just so happened that Zach from Gustafson uh, Plastics was able to get me the final uh, prototype windshield, the 16 inch windshield with the custom lower wind deflectors. Uh, I got those while I was up hunting, so I was able to put that on the bike and go for a ride yesterday and field test those. So I'll give you some thoughts on that and give you a look at that. But I thought I'd also take this time to do a video on all the different options that are going to be available to you with your Harley Davidson Sport Glide for a windshield through Gustafson Plastic. Now I will say this, this is not a sponsored video, I'm not getting paid to say this, although I will say that I have been working with Gustafson, they have been supplying me with uh, different prototype windshields as I've worked with them to be a field tester to help them zero in on what's working and what's not and how to tweak the best windshield for the standard mini bat wing fairing that comes stock on the uh, Harley Davidson Sport Glide. So that being said, come on with me and I'm gonna take you through the different windshield options and the long and the short of it. And I'll also tell you how I got it zeroed in and I'll give you some measurements so that you can apply this to yourself when you're trying to choose which particular windshield option would best work for your body type and height. So come on with me and let's get into it. Here's an overlay of the Gustafson Grand Touring windshield, that's the 15 inch Grand Touring on the top. Underneath that in smoke, the light smoke, is the 15 inch prototype. You can see how that starts to flare out and get wider along the edges. And then underneath that is the clear 17 inch prototype. So you can see Hopefully you can see the difference between the three. And then there's one more that is a 16 inch prototype. It's pretty much the exact same profile as the 17, only it's in between that 15 inch and the 17. Gets too busy, I thought, to throw that on there, just busy it up too much. Let's talk a little bit about the different windshields. The standard 15 inch Grand Touring isn't as flattened off across the top. It's very rounded or like the, like the end of an egg, right? And so what was happening is it was hitting me from here to here and the wind, because it was hitting in such a narrow up top fashion, it's really giving you that wind buffeting. So I started playing around with some of my own prototyping. I cut some plastic up, cardboard, and started prototyping and discovered that by flattening that off, it was still hitting me up here, but it wasn't making my head dance. And so it was a manageable um, wind. And so that's where the 15 inch prototype, we, we came out wider and it goes wider all the way to the outside of the fairing and comes up and it's more flattened across the top. And that made a big difference. Riding that 15 inch prototype, the wider one, was much more clean. I didn't get the dancing, but the wind was still hitting me um, pretty good up here. I needed to go higher for my height. And again, I've got the measurements later in the video uh, for you to take a look at be able to help size what you need. 
So then we went to the 17 inch and that 17 inch definitely clears. I got no buffeting up here, but, and it was pretty good. When I leaned back, I was hitting it the back end of the uh, wind pocket and so you could kind of get a little bit of turbulence in the very back end when you lean way back like you might on a long tour. So after riding the 16 inch prototype that's the perfect fit for me and what I noticed was when I leaned back the back end of the of the wind pocket was further back so I wasn't getting any of that turbulence at the back end of the air pocket or wind pocket so for me the 16 inch is the perfect setup but um, yeah so that's the different choices you've got the grand 15 inch grand touring standard 15 inch grand touring wide or prototype 16 inch grand touring wide or prototype and a 17 inch grand touring wide or prototype and um, those are the choices that you have again for me the 16 inch was perfect and hopefully you could take my measurement my height off of the ground and use that get your measurement and then you can get kind of dialed in as best you can off of my measurements or my math Hope that helps you out. Let's talk about which windshield is gonna be best for you. Now, it depends on your height, but not just your height, because everybody's got a different inseam. It's how you set the bike, and a lot of factors. What seat are you riding? You know, have you lowered your bike? Have you changed the suspension? I'm sitting on a stock suspension with the stock seat that came on the Sport Glide. And what I've got here is the 16 inch prototype windshield. And that is perfect for me. So for my height, this windshield is the perfect setup for me. You know, and what you don't wanna do is spend a few hundred dollars to buy a windshield and have it be the wrong one. So take a few minutes and do some measurements on yourself now you know if you watch a bunch of videos on windshields and what they say they say to bring the top of the windshield up to the tip of your nose well you know what does that mean you know you're going to have a different rake angle and that's the thing you have to look at here you can't buy it just based on oh 15 inches that's not straight up 16 inches isn't straight up Remember, this is attached to the fairing, which is attached to your forks. So the rake angle, or that 30 degree rake angle of your forks, is what's happening here on the windshield. So the windshield's coming back towards you at a 30 degree angle. So don't get confused by a 12 inch, a 16 inch, a, a 15 inch. You've got to sit on the bike and get some measurements. And I'm gonna help you out. We are going to do a measurement to the top of my head to the ground, okay? And I'll give you that number. And then you can take that number, get your own measurement, have somebody help you out. Get a tape measure, run, some, run a level over, get a measurement. What is the top of your head to the ground? And that way, that will take into consideration if you have a, a reach seat on there, if you have something else going on with your suspension, you'll know. Then, you can choose from there which one of these windshields is going to be the best fit for you. So what we're doing now is Laura's going to help me get a measurement at what my head height is off of the ground so that I'll know and you'll know what you're dealing with as far as height. So, Laura, have you got that measurement? Where are we at? 66 inches. Okay, so we're sitting 66 inches off of the ground to the top of my head. So, depending on your height and your body type, you can use that to help you figure out which windshield's gonna work best for you. Let's take a look at the Gustafson lower wind deflectors. These are the customs that I had Zach put together for me. 
and I really I gave them some measurements and drawings and what have you of the Memphis Shades lowers and they call those the custom lowers but you can see how wide they are on the forks the angle and whatnot and so what I did is I asked Zach if he could match those to the outside and if you look at how this comes down man it's perfect it's a perfect match and the Gustafson comes down just below the top of the Memphis Shade fork and that's the difference see the Gustafson they're mounted to the fairing they're mounted to the back side of the fairing there's just a couple of screws up in there that hold them on but they're nice and solid so they meet the contour and they just fill that in beautifully and it comes down, you can see it comes down to just above that reflector on the side. Hopefully this is doing it justice. Yeah, you can see it's coming just to the deflector, or the reflector. So that's what it looks like. There's the Harley Davidson soft lowers. They just zip on to your engine guard. Couldn't be simpler. Come around the back here. Just wraps her, you know, slides right on. There's snaps right there. Slips around the frame. Velcro's in there. Ratchet strap Velcro. And there you go. You've even got a zipper here on the side. If you've got highway pegs, put your highway pegs right through there. If you don't have some of these, you need to get some you know if you're riding in colder temperatures like i am this is great for first thing in the spring and last thing in the fall and i can tell you right now if you're ever going to get caught in a rainstorm if you've got these things in your saddlebags along with your rain gear you want to throw them on because it makes a huge difference on water coming up and hitting your boots and your legs and everything else so i would I wouldn't be without these things. Okay, just got back from riding the 15 inch prototype and I wouldn't change anything on this 15 inch prototype. The difference between the standard and this is substantial. Um, with this flattened off more, it pushes the pocket out so that it's beyond your shoulders. When I ride with the standard 15 inch touring, that wind wraps around and it's taking your shoulders. This pushes it out far enough where your shoulders are just so relaxed. You're in the pocket back here with that. I'm right at the edge of the buffeting, but because it's wider, it's not pushing my head back and forth. It's a nice even glance off of there. So actually pretty comfortable. I've got the 17 inch prototype, got the Gustafson standard size lower wind deflectors and of course there's your uh, Memphis shade lowers so that's kind of the look. Okay I'm gonna pop the fairing off Just like that. Lay this down and we'll change it out. Here we are with the 16 inch. I've got the custom lowers on there. The lower wind deflectors by Gustafson. You can see that those have been cut to the same angle as the top of the Memphis Shades uh, custom lowers that go on the fork. Perfect. I got the Harley Davidson lowers on there, the soft lowers.
Here's the 16 inch. Give it to you kind of from all sides. It's really a nice windshield. And when you get back here in the pocket, I'm telling you right now, running, running expressway speeds, no wind at all. Perfect pocket from all directions. That was me going north, going south, going east, going west. I mean, I tested it in all of those conditions so that wind had no play in it. At every single direction, I was getting a clean wind pocket. And those pullback risers, that's what it looks like. You can see I've got my Tooney um, Bluetooth volume control, etc., for my Bluetooth um, earbuds. Again, that gap right there, when you get up to highway speed, that's going to that's going to be laying back like that. It's inevitable. That's why you need to have the pullback risers. If you didn't have the pullback risers, that'd be making contact right now. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I appreciate you guys tagging along. I hope you got some useful information out of this. If you have any questions, hit me up uh, in the comments. I'll be happy to answer questions. I'd love to hear from you. What are you running for a windshield? Uh, what are you running for uh, lowers? Are you running lowers? Just, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, chime in. Let me know what's going on. I, I love to hear ideas. I mean, that's part of what's led me to be able to do what I'm doing is the research and the exchange of information on the forums and, and things like that. I've certainly gone back and forth with different guys on videos and gotten great information from the YouTube community. So, you know, feel free to reach out to me if you'd like. Uh, I appreciate it. Again, uh, everybody that watches my videos, do me a favor and subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you on the next one.